Saturday was Jason Turdeman Day in Berwick. The borough welcomed home their Olympic hero who competed in the doubles luge event and the luge relay event in Sochi. We talked with someone who went to high school with Jason and she says when they were in school she knew Jason but she had no idea what a luge was. I would say most of the population in Berwick is now familiar with the sport. Here's our story on Jason Tournament Day as told by the good people of Berwick, Pennsylvania. Talk about Berwick as a whole. Yes, I've been here for about 25 years, and it really is a great community to grow up in. Sports is our big thing, um, so it's awesome that Jason has been in the Olympics, and we really come together to support everybody. Talk about the shirts and that. I mean, the team tournament, and you said it's been crazy. Just tell me about the process of making them. It's been a madhouse. Everybody wants their team tournament shirts. It's just we couldn't keep them on the shelves long enough. You know, now we only have a few sizes left. Every time we'd get them, they'd go right out the door. We just couldn't keep up with how many people wanted them. Every day, we were just making making them constantly. To me, it's a very tight-knit community. There's a lot of support for your football teams, your uh, sports in high school, lower grades. I worked at the ACF when I come here, met a lot of hard-working people, and of course that's where the Stewie was made, the tank we made during World War II, I'm very proud to say, even though I'm a Navy man, but it's a good, it's a good small town, it really is. Moving from that um, to Jason Turnerman, over in the Olympics, how proud was this town, how proud were you of Jason seeing him over there representing the United States? We are all in Burwick and surrounding areas, very proud of him, I wouldn't care if he finished 90th. We are very proud of his effort, and it speaks a lot for his hometown, his parents, and everyone concerned uh, related to him. How excited are you for today? I'm excited that he's, he's a part of my school and that he's at the Olympics. Did he come see you at your school? Yes. How cool was that? What was it like? What were your friends saying? What was the day like? Was it kind of crazy? It was awesome. Did you watch him in the Olympics? Yes. All right. Do you want to be an athlete, play football, do anything? I want to go on the luge. It was great. I mean, I got uh, some small video clips while I was over there showing me the kids cheering me on during the races, <laughs> which was really cool to see. And, and uh, I think it's great that you know I'm, I'm going to try and be a great role model for the kids, something they can look up to, and and uh, hopefully they can you know follow my my lead and, and strive for something they really want to do. Jason, how much did you want today? I mean, I know it's your day, but how much did you and your family want this to be a thank you to Berwick as well? I saw the sign on the trolley. Oh, this absolutely is a huge thank you to Berwick. I mean, all the support's been incredible. Uh, I really could never have done anything without the support I've gotten from this hometown, and it's just been tremendous. Did you ever think growing up in Berwick you'd be as big as Berwick football one day? <laughs> no, because <laughs> no, especially since I didn't play football here, so I mean, I never really played football, so it's not a, it was never really through my mind, but uh, you know, I'm happy to, happy to be here where I'm at right now. Put our hands together and give a warm welcome to Berwick's Olympian, Mr. Jason Turdeman. <laughs> There's nothing better than uh, when somebody accomplishes such great things is to come home to the people uh, who love you the most, who knew you before uh, you became famous. Uh, you never had the opportunity to ask an Olympian parent, what is it like? You said the whole experience, you were emotional when they would do interviews and that. It was like watching your son out there. Well, um, what do you think, Dad? Uh, I'm overwhelmed. I cry every time I, I see something. This is my father and uh, Jason's grandfather. And when he cries, I cry. <laughs> we're, we're so very proud of you. All of Burick is. It's just an absolutely wonderful day here. It, it's all about good and, and you and what you've done for our community. Thank you very much. Never forget to always remember and honor those two those folks two, over oh, yeah, there, Mom no, and Dad. No okay. Uh, <laughs> thank you. And, Today's a special day, so I wore my special tie, but I doubled up on it. Can you see what that says? On, what does that say? Maybe you guys can help us. Will you repeat what he says? U. U. S. S. A. A. U. S. A. U. S. A. Thank you, Jason. We're really proud of you. Thank you. Okay. For the record, Jason and teammate Christian Nickham came in 11th out of 19 teams in the doubles luge events. Online now at facebook.com slash news13 SSP TV. Listen to Jason's mom, Catherine, explain how close their family is. And I also asked her if she was nervous about Jason participating in the sport of luge because I get nervous just watching it on television. So check that out now. And we will have more on Jason in the coming days here on News 13. He'll talk about his experiences in Sochi and so much more.